If you grow peas, they will need supporting, otherwise they become a tangled heap. Traditionally, you use pea sticks, which is the brushwood top part of bean sticks. However, netting of any kind will do the job just as well, but make sure it is firmly supported. If you've got plenty of dahlias, it's a good idea to spread the flowering. And you can do this by reducing them by a third or even a half, cutting above a pair of leaves. This will stimulate more side shoots, which will carry more flowers, albeit a little bit later than if you'd left them uncut. At the beginning of the programme, I was taking spent tulips in their pots, and the idea is to lift them out the pot and dry them, leaves, stems and all, and then keep the bulbs. And in fact, I plant those in a nursery bed and use them for cut flowers. But if you grow tulips in the border, as I have here in the writing garden, this is spring green, you want them to reflower in the same place next year as well as possible. And a little job that will help that is to break off the seed heads, because the formation of seed is taking energy away from the formation of next year's bulb. Don't take off the stem, certainly don't cut back the leaves. Let those die back naturally. The goodness will go into the bulb, and there's a fighting chance you'll get a really good display next year.